I'm Sister Bear. Welcome to Living Books. This is a story about the time Brother Bear read me a scary book and made me afraid of the dark. Does that ever happen to you? If you want the story read to you, click right here. If you want to play inside the story, click right here. Okay, let's play. Being afraid of the dark doesn't just happen to you. <laughs> it happens sometimes to little bears, too. Sister and Brother Bear were at the Bear Country Library. Sister had already chosen her books and was waiting at the checkout desk. Brother Bear, are you going to take all day to pick your books? Hold your horses. I'm looking for a good mystery. Corner. <laughs> That's a good baby. Excuse me, do you have any baby bear books? There should be one there. <laughs> hmm, I can't seem to find them. Sister and Brother Bear were at the Bear Country Library. Sister had already chosen her books and was waiting at the checkout desk. It's a book about music. It's a book about flying. It's a book called How to Fool Your Parents. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Those were great books. I think I'll get some more. I'll take these. But I'm going to look for a few more. Mysteries. Who done it? Brother, how hard can it be to pick a book? I'm going as fast as I can. Well, hurry up. Give me 
found anything yet? I'm going to look over here. Brother Bear. Afraid of the dark doesn't just happen. Being afraid of the dark doesn't just happen to you. <laughs> it happens sometimes to little bears, too. I'm checking this in. Out. I'm checking this out. Have it. Sister Bear usually took out storybooks and books about nature and sometimes books of poems. Brother liked those, too. But lately, he'd become interested in mysteries, especially spooky ones. Hey, this one looks good, he said finally. Hmm, said Sister. It was called The Case of the Crying Cave. It looks scary to me. Hey, check me out. No, check me. Check me out. Me, me. Hmm, I love a good book. mysteries because they're scary. The Case of the Crying Cave. I can't wait to read it. I like my books better. Whoa! Did you know that butterflies start life as caterpillars? Oh, boring. Rock and roll. Folk.
This is really good, said Brother later that evening when the Bear family had settled down for some reading. Would you like me to read it to you? He asked Sister. Sister was looking at a storybook about three kittens who were arguing about which was the prettiest, and it was a little boring. Or are you scared? Of course not. Squirrels. Those were great. Daisies. Rose. Corn. Are you going to read it or not? It's pretty scary. I don't care. Are you sure you want to hear this? I told you. Yes. again, Mama. Hmm. I see the berry harvest should be good this year. Mmm. Berries. My favorite. Papa, everything's your favorite. Oh, dear. The price of everything just keeps going up. I'm cuter than you are. No, you're not. I'm the cutest. No, I'm cutest. Mm-hmm. Can we turn the page now? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Papa! I just love the funnies. <laughs> hmm, the Bear Country Bruins want another one. Oh, look, Mama, 100 ways to cook with honey. Here's an article about a skunk who raised a big stink downtown. <laughs> Ew! Okay, here we go. The case of the crying cave. The mystery began quietly. It told about some bear scouts who were on an overnight campout when the scouts discovered a dark, secret cave. Brother's mystery began to get a little exciting. A mysterious cave, said the Bear Scouts. We should explore it. And when the cave began to cry and wail, 
It was anything but quiet. Ooh! cried the deep, dark, mysterious cave. Ooh! Stop! That's enough! <laughs> Papa! He's scaring me! What? Brother Bear, what are you doing? Just reading my book, Papa. And then the little kittens went into the dark cave. Brother Bear, stop that! Sure is noisy around here tonight. Huh. It's dark in here. Bedtime, Papa and Mama said good night. Good night. Good night, Cubs. Turned off the light and left the Cubs in the usual sleepy darkness. G good night, Mama and Papa. Good night. Outside the treehouse, the bright, busy sounds of the day had given way to the soft, soothing sounds of night, the quiet conversation of frogs and toads, the soft cry of the owl, the sigh of the night wind. And if you listened very hard, you could almost hear the softest sound of all. The sound of lightning bugs switching their lights on and off, on and off. Who's there? Who wants to know? Who else? Who you talking about? Who cares? Not again! Every night they do this! <sighs> I've got to quit falling asleep. Darn! I need to change batteries. <laughs> What's that? I gotta go on a diet. Thank you. 
noisier than usual tonight? Hmm? No. Just a little bit hungry. Hungry again? Inside the treehouse, Sister Bear wasn't even beginning to fall asleep. That night, the dark didn't seem the least bit quiet and sleepy. In fact, it seemed like the spooky darkness of a scary cave. And the friendly old chest of drawers and funny clothes tree that Papa had made didn't seem so friendly and funny. They seemed more like cave creatures. Zoo.
so when Brother decided to tease her a little more by making a wailing noise, a really spooky wailing noise, it gave her quite a scare. Ah! Mama, Papa, hurry, come quick! And come quickly they did. Papa rushed into the room and tripped over the clothes tree. Mama rushed in after Papa and tripped over him. In the commotion, Sister fell out of bed and landed on both of them. <laughs> then Brother, who had started it all with his spooky wail, turned on the light. What a mess! Sister, still scared, was holding on to Papa. Papa was holding on to the toe he had stubbed. Oh! And Mama was looking for the nightcap she had lost in the confusion. All three of them were pretty annoyed with Brother Bear. doing. You weren't very nice to your sister, Brother Bear. Yeah. Are you two all right? Yes, Mama. Well, I think so. How about you? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, where is that hat? Papa, Brother made a spooky noise and scared me. Let go, Sister Bear. Oh, my toe. Ouch! Hold it! Hold it! This isn't the kitchen! About face! Arch! <laughs> Here, Mama. Thank you, Papa. Come on now, let's get back to bed. It turned out to be a very long night in the bear's treehouse. Papa and Mama tried to explain that there was nothing to be afraid of in the dark, except maybe running into a clothes tree and stubbing your toe, but it didn't do any good. Sister absolutely refused to go to sleep with the light off. <laughs> and Brother positively insisted that he couldn't fall asleep with the light on.
The next morning, the bear family was very sleepy-eyed. Boy, said brother, yawning. I sure don't want to go through another night like that. <sighs> Neither do I, said Papa. Uh, uh. Hmm, needs salt. Does not. Hey, I'm almost ready. Is breakfast ready yet? Hmm, did someone get out of the wrong side of the bed this morning? everyone. Isn't it? Yum! I only had three hours of sleep last night. That's three more than some of us. I'm too tired to eat. I'm too tired to move. I'm too tired tired to keep talking. I'm too tired to go to school. Nice try, Brother Bear. I don't think I'm going to get much done today. Maybe I'll just do a bit of baking and put up some preserves and then garden for a bit and... Oh. How do owls stay awake all night? They sleep during the day. Good idea. One night like that is about all we can stand. I think I have an idea that might help. Come with me, Sister Bear. Where are we going? Sister Bear wanted to know. Up to the attic. One night. Where are we going? Sister Bear wanted to know. Up to the attic. The attic? But it's dark in the attic, even in the daytime. I know, said Papa. But there's something I want to show you. Anyway, there's nothing so special about the dark. It's just part of nature, like the light. It's your imagination that makes the dark seem spooky sometimes. What's imagination? asked Sister. Imagination is what makes us think that chests of drawers and clothes trees are cave creatures. I wish I didn't have one, said Sister. Don't say that, said Papa. A lively imagination is one of the best things a cub can have. It's imagination that lets us paint pictures. Make up poems. Invent inventions.
The trick is to take charge of your imagination and not let it take charge of you. When I use my imagination, I sound like this. I could imagine being king of the forest. Pretty impressive, huh? I imagine I could talk. Is it dark in here? Or is it just me? One of these has to work. Imagination, asked Sister. Imagination is what makes us think that chests of drawers and clothes trees are cave creatures. I wish I didn't have one, said Sister. Don't say that, said Papa. A lively imagination is one of the best things a cub can have. It's imagination that lets us paint pictures, make up poems, invent inventions. The trick is to take charge of your imagination and not let it take charge of you. Well, finally. No! You see, sister, even grown-ups can make mistakes with fire. I know, Papa. When they got to the attic, Papa began to rummage through boxes, looking for something. Sister tried to follow Papa's advice and not let her imagination take charge, and it worked. A spooky shape turned out to be the shadow of some old tools. What looked like a giant was really some piled-up furniture. Just me. <laughs> Look, Sister Bear. A picture of me when I was a young bear on the dive team. How do 
I look. <laughs> now you're scaring me, Papa. I'm sure it's in here someplace. Oh, I'm sure. Look, a picture of Brother Bear when he was little. He was so sweet. That must have been a long time ago. Nightlight, the one I used when I was a cub and had a little trouble falling asleep in the dark. You had a nightlight? You were afraid too? Sister couldn't quite believe that her big, powerful papa was ever afraid of the dark. Oh, sure. Most of us are at one time or another. of the case of the crying cave. Sister asked brother later that day. Are you sure you want me to? Sure. I want to see how it turns out. She insisted. <coughs> the mystery is solved, shouted Bear Scout Ted, looking down from the hole in the top of the crying cave. The sounds are made by the wind. I don't understand, said Bear Scout Fred. <coughs> I'll show you, said Bear Scout Ted. It's like when you blow across the top of a bottle. Scouts are here somewhere. Oh, that last step's a doozy. Dark. 
by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Hi, I'm Sister Bear. Welcome to Living Books. When it turned out that there was nothing very spooky about the terrible wailing noise, Sister was a little disappointed, and that night, she said so. I was pretty disappointed by the way the case of the crying cave ended. Why? asked Brother. Because I was hoping the wailing would be a really spooky, scary monster! Cut that out! cried Brother. I'm n not scared. Ooh! Are you scared? Ooh! Stop <laughs> it! Ooh! Who said that? Ooh! Left the window open. One of you call? I guess not. Is that you, Papa? Yes, it is. You kids go on to sleep now. right to sleep, but brother lay awake for quite some time, listening to the owl hoots and thinking that maybe he'd had enough mysteries for a while. right here. If you want to play inside the story, click right here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tree. Tree who? Tree little twigs. <laughs> <laughs> If you want the story read to you, click right here. If you want to play inside the story, click right here.
If you want to play inside a certain page, click on the arrow to select the page you want, and then click OK. If you want to play inside a certain... If you want to... Well, are you sure you want to quit? Well, if you say so. Bye.